We are back in the dugout for the Lafayette Lepers in a win today, 6-3 to three in game number one. A great start to the afternoon for the home team. A lot of fireworks in this one, wind blowing out a little bit. We saw some long balls as we take a look at the game recap in the first inning for the Leopards. Here's long ball number one, Kylie Sweet, her first collegiate home run over the fence in left center field that gives Lafayette a one to nothing lead early on. We move along to the third inning. That was a big inning for the Leopards, putting up three runs. Here's a single to left field as they get things started with seven players coming to the plate. This one cracked to right center field and over the fence. A home run by Megan Coyle, who had three hits this afternoon. She was a triple away from the cycle. We move to the fourth inning. The visitors get involved in the parade. That one off the wall, a double by Erico. That scores a run as the Dragons trying to get back into this one. A little inside out here down the line. The Dragons scoring two runs in the fourth. And another one coming in the fifth inning as well. Number 23. That is Abinuzio with a home run over the fence. And that made it a close game at the time. It was 4-3 to three at that point. But Lafayette coming back. Sending one deep right off the top of the wall as they score one run in the fifth for a little bit of breathing room and then pick up another run in the sixth a nice play there on the sacrifice bunt by Brown and defense was the name of the game and a lot of it came from this player at shortstop probably Bickett coming home getting that runner there she made plenty of outs today Really clean afternoon for the Leopards in the field with just one error coming late in the game. Both teams playing pretty well defensively. That play got away from the Dragons. It turned into a fielder's choice off the bat of Coyle. And that scored the last run of the game for the Leopards. And here's our final out unassisted over at first base. And your final score... Six to three in favor of the Leopards. Three runs, seven hits for Drexel. For Lafayette, six runs, 11 hits, one error in the win. Your stars of the game, Erico, two for three. A double and an RBI. And Megan Coyle, how about that? Three for four. A home run, stolen base, had a double, and had four RBIs in the process. And again, that home run, her first collegiate home run in the win. So with the win, the Leopards move to 4-22 and 1. Drexel falls to 6 and 20. But you know what? That's the great thing about a doubleheader. If you didn't get enough, we're going to do it all over again. Do want to mention, by the way, before we toss the break, Jackie Cal picks up the win, her second win of the year. So I want to congratulate her on that as she pitched a complete game inside the circle. We'll take a break. When we come back. In about 25 minutes or so, maybe around 525, 25, we'll 520 to 525, I should say. We'll give you game number two in this doubleheader on ESPN+. Plus. But until then, I'm Matt Fine. Have a great few minutes and come join us back here on ESPN+. Plus. ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you in a second. We are back as the sun is set on Eastern Pennsylvania. We have a split doubleheader with Lafayette winning game number one, but falling here in game number two. It's quite the affair. First five runs of the game coming from the visitors as they opened one up, thinking this might be one of those afternoons in game number two for Lafayette where they would fall behind and not be able to come on back. But they did a good job of coming back, but it wasn't easy. There's the home run in the first inning off Erico, and that made it a two to nothing game early in this game. In the second inning, another couple of runs come across. That is number 25, Gale, going over the fence in right field. The runs keep coming, this one into the gap, 
up against the fence in right center field. So two runs in the first, two runs in the second, a four to nothing lead for the Dragons. Move to the third, a bouncer over to the second baseman and our only double play of the afternoon, a real strong play. But then this ball gets by the shortstop and this is the single run in the third inning as Garza scores and this makes it five to nothing. But over the fence, a home run for number 22 for Lafayette. Sweet goes deep, her second home run of the afternoon. And in the fourth inning, we're just chipping away, chipping away. A couple of runs come in in the fourth. Both Hauseman scores and Wynn scores. No play at first base there. And here's the second run that got in that made it a 5-2 to two ball game. Move to the fifth. More offense. Slapping one to the left side. The ball gets away, and another run comes in as Hauseman reaches. In the seventh inning, looking for some insurance, and Drexel gets it. This makes it a 6-4 to four ball game. And that run was real big because in the bottom of the seventh, the Leopards put one on the board as they were down to their final out and final strike a couple of different times. But they did pick up that one run. So Kony Kozart scored that run to make it a 6-5 to five game. Here's where the run comes in on a ball that just got inside the line from Langford. But that would be it for the afternoon for the Leopards as the final score ends up 6-5 to five in favor of the Dragons. Powell gets the loss. She falls to 0-3. Shable gets the win 5-8 and eight on the year. A complete game giving up five runs, four earned. Our stars of the game for Drexel, two for two for Mooney. And Sweet, once again, two for four, a single and another home run. She had quite the afternoon. A real nice afternoon for both teams. Playing pretty good ball with the win. Drexel moves to 12 and 21 on the year. Lafayette falling to 4, 23 and 1. And there's your final score. As the two teams will head back into conference play, Lafayette at BU and Drexel heading to Charleston for a weekend set in the CAA. That will do it for me and the entire crew here in Eastern Pennsylvania on the campus of Lafayette. John Sabino getting the job done, directing both shows for us. We appreciate that. And for our entire crew, I'm Matt Fine. Have a safe evening, everyone.